All right. Tempers flared again last night at the Loudoun County School Board meeting as the school board considered requiring teachers to address students by their self-identified names and pronouns. The school board abruptly ended the public comment period after only 51 of the 250 scheduled speakers had spoken. When angry parents refused to leave, the school board called the police on them and had a few of the parents arrested for trespassing. Now, the, the, really at the core of this, two things. One, we have the transgender ideology that's being forced on students in the classroom, but we also have the critical race theory. A uh, program's curriculum that is derived from the critical race theory, contains the critical race theory, has galvanized opposition, and it's moving across the nation at alarming rates. And uh, many in Congress here are taking note of this. Congresswoman Virginia Fox highlighted the push for critical race theory in a Fox News op-ed. Uh, she represents the 5th Congressional District of North Carolina. She's also the ranking member on the House Committee of Education. And I believe we have her with us. Congresswoman Virginia Fox, welcome to the program. It's wonderful to be with you again. I really appreciate your having me on with you. And, uh, you know, what you've been describing, the, especially the school board meeting last night, was one of the most arrogant things I've ever seen among elected officials. Uh, I really applaud the, the parents for coming forward and expressing their opinion. You know, I was on a school board for 12 years. I was a state senator. I'm now in Congress. I know who I work for. I work for my constituents. And the American people uh, do not accept this critical race theory. This is an ideology that says we are inherently racist. It's corrosive to our founding principle that we're all created equal. And it's, it's an embarrassment and it's an insult to uh, hardworking Americans. It, it's just unbelievable. Uh, Virginia, in your op-ed that's uh, on foxnews.com, you say this is indoctrination. It's absolutely. The epicenter of this push is the 1619 Project, and the whole idea is to indoctrinate students with critical race theory. It, it, it is what they want to do. It, it's really Marxist in its, its core, too. Um, the central thesis, and I think every one of your listeners probably understands this, America was not founded in 1776. That is just not true. It's been debunked by prominent historians who've pointed out lots of historical inaccuracies in the project as it was published by the New York Times. Um, we don't need to take down the positive attitude of Americans toward our country. We're the greatest country in the world, and we have been for a long time. And we should be very proud of that. We should be instilling pride in the country's next generation of leaders in order to continue our leadership in the world, our leadership uh, in making this a better world through our example. Now, you, uh, you, you wrote something in this op-ed that I thought was interesting that, that quite frankly, I had, uh, I had missed, that the, the proposed priorities of the what the Biden administration is doing in terms of enticing schools, local schools, to interject this uh, uh, 1619 curriculum uh, is a pro it's a violation of the prohibition of the federal government's involvement in local school curriculum. The federal government's not Absolutely. supposed to do that. Now, I know that when we talk about violating the law. That's nothing to the left. They uh, they violate the law all the time. But this is a violation of the law, or at least in spirit. Absolutely. And and we do everything possible, Republicans do, to keep the federal government out of our curriculum. You know, we we got rid of Common Core, which people were opposed to, um, through our uh, getting by our uh, passing the Every Student Succeeds Act. We said no state can be required to have Common Core. We are probably going to have to do something on this, but with the Democrats in the majority, in the House, in the Senate, and with 
President Biden in office, it will be very difficult to do that. But we did get rid of Common Core, and now it looks like we're going to have to get rid of critical race theory, too. It's just such an insult on the American to the American people and an assault on this country. It truly is. You know, Tony, I grew up extraordinarily poor, and yet here I have had a chance to 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 work hard, get a good education, and be in the Congress of the United States. What we should be instilling in our youth is it doesn't matter what your background is. There's always room for you to succeed in America. Right. Doesn't matter whether you have a disability, doesn't matter what your um uh, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter whether you're black or white, Hispanic, Asian, doesn't matter. We are great because of the opportunity and because we do treat people equally. But we are conditioning people to think that they can't succeed by telling them that they're disadvantaged. Uh, and Correct. therefore, you don't, you don't even try uh, because you're, right. you're disadvantaged. And that is contrary to what has made America a, a great nation in years past. Uh, Congresswoman Virginia Fox, before we run out of time, I want to transition just a little bit on this aspect, because as you talk about this, is coming from the federal government, the Biden administration pushing this, enticing uh, these grants, uh, enticing the states with the grants to teach this in the classroom. You've got uh, some cases willing educators wanting to be a part of the indoctrination of our children. So this leaves the parents really on the front line to defend what's happening uh, in the classrooms of America and defend their children. What should they be doing? Well, they should be doing exactly what they are doing. And, you know, we have uh, black parents, white parents, Asian parents all going out there and saying, this is wrong, wrong, wrong. Do not tie uh, a, a, a millstone a millstone around children's neck and tell them they can't succeed. And, you know, Tony, the parents need to continue to speak out. Again, they're the bosses of the school board. They're the ones that hire them by voting for them. They're the bosses of all of us elected officials. And, Tony, I'll leave you with one more thought. Why are millions of people attempting to enter this country if it's such a bad place? Very good point. Uh, it says right. a volume about this country, people wanting to come here even with all the right. problems we have. Congresswoman Virginia Fox, always great to talk with you. Thanks so much for Thank your leadership you, on Capitol Hill. I appreciate it. God bless you.